We wanted to go back, I wanted to go back to kind of some source material, go back to where kind of I started from. That's why I included my friend Brett, uh, because we learned to play together and he's so familiar with my sense of phrasing and stuff like that. So we wanted to do something that was, meant something to us both personally um, and how to get to the heart of the matter of that would, would probably be complicated. Like the title of the record is Airborne, but you know, that has nothing to do with flying planes or anything like that. That was a, a name of our, uh, our band when we were in high school. And effectively, you know, through sound, we're trying to bring across, you know, our experience and kind of tell our story. Dean and I go back a long ways. About 30 years ago, we started playing music together in our first rock and roll band in junior high school and continued that into our high school years. And a few months ago, Dean contacted me about putting together a CD project that had some of that energy, some of that flavor, some of that power that we had uh, playing uh, rock and roll in those younger, younger days. And it just so happens that I have an old 70s sonar kit that just absolutely fit the bill perfectly for the sound that we were looking for, the feel that we were looking for, almost the smell that we were looking for on this kit to be able to bring back some of that energy that we had um, as we were playing rock, hard rock and roll when we were younger. One of the challenges about this CD for a percussionist and kit player was the fact that um, this is bass and drums, that's all there is. There's no rhythm guitar, there's nothing else rhythmically going on in the standard sense. But to find my voice as a drummer or a percussionist, we had to be very careful not to get in the way of Dean's harmonics, Dean's rhythmic style, Dean's bass line playing. Uh, so it, it took some time to be able to do that and it also, looking outside of the box and not playing traditional, uh, a lot of traditional drum set beats or using percussion instruments in a traditional way. We wanted to have the, you know, the concept of the bass be up front and, and, and show off what it could really do. And then, you know, anything else that was around it be kind of subordinate. And uh, to Brett's credit, he really did a great job of that, um, in helping orchestrate that. Did a wonderful job of, uh, you know, I, I don't think I've ever worked with someone who uh, I've had to say less to about, you know, how to, uh, how to get something done. Uh, you know, and without charts too, which is really interesting thing because we, you know, we're both music readers, and that that was a, a huge thing, a real big departure. No charts, just everything, very organically. 